Hey there, everybody. It's your channel Snowman here for TLT Recap and Analysis. Sorry, this episode is coming out a little bit late, later than I would like because they did no Johns and actually finished round 9. Uh, so technically this week is round 10, even though it is the ninth week of the TLT. Um, and this is because, well, just the match is finished early. And uh, the reason why I didn't get this video out earlier uh, is because I was commentating a PC and that was pretty fun, um, and I left a little bit early just to get this done, as well as some other work that I have to do. So uh, hopefully I'll wrap this up pretty quickly and just go through what happened in all the rounds. So, um, actually, give me one second. Okay, so uh, let's first go through round 8, uh, just before we get into round 9 and round 10. But round 8, uh, Ninja Dog versus Shaitanya happened. And Ninja Dog did uh, very well and won that set pretty convincingly. This is the first one of the best of fives. And Cam beat Big Boy very convincingly as well. So um, I'll talk a little bit about both of those players when we get into the further rounds. Uh, Sotsa versus SMB was a really big surprise as Sotsa really did play extremely solid versus SMB and won. And 100% GXC versus Snowfall. Uh, that, game, that series was very unfortunate as game one was Ubers and... Uh, Snowfall should have won that game, and it could have been a completely different set if that had happened. But we don't really know, uh, so that's unfortunate, but 100% GXC did win that set 3-1. to one. It could have been uh, at least a game 5, but we don't really know, so uh, no real point speculating, but that was really the big hacks of this uh, round. Um, and it was really a pretty good uh, showing from all the players who won, uh, with Ninja Dog, Cam, and... Um, Sot Sot really showing some really high level play. So then moving into round 9, we had um, Sot Sot versus Chaitanya and 100% GXC versus Big Boy. Uh, Sot Sot versus Chaitanya was a four game set which was uh, pretty dominated by Sot Sot with the only game he dropped being in um, mono and it looked like in every game he was kind of on the back foot but he had one win condition in the back that really just sealed the game uh, in Yu Yu, it was a SD Dread play Bisharp in um, in um, doubles. He had a d Dragon Dance Mega Tyranitar, and in um, PU he had his Specs alone Executor, and all of those uh, and those mons pretty much sealed the game pretty handily in each of their respective games. Hundred percent GXC versus Big Boy. Uh, I want to. I'll talk a little bit about more about hundred percent GXC when we get to his match versus Sot Sot. But uh, he played really well versus Big Boy and took it in four games, uh, all of which were pretty solid. Uh, he took some interesting liberties in Ubers in team building. He beat uh, LC pretty solidly where Big Boy was uh, pretty weak to Timber. And he actually uh, lost, dropped the game that uh, because he missed a Stone Edge. So he could have been, t uh, he could have taken this 3-0 actually. So um, that could have been pretty cool. But he's been playing uh, really well and also a newcomer to basically the tournament scene. Uh, he's our big newcomer for this basically TLT and uh, or like that's been doing really well. So good on him. And I hope to see uh, how well he does in the top four. So let's get into top four. Cam versus Ninja Dog. This is definitely not the winner's finals I would expect. In fact, I didn't really expect any of these four players to be in the top four. Definitely not 100% GXC or uh, and I didn't really expect Cam to do this well, but he's performed really well, actually. And he's really stepped it up and played at a high level, uh, much higher than I expected, honestly. And he's just had good support all around. Um, so Cam versus Ninja Dog is definitely not the winner's finals I was expecting. But Ninja Dog has been playing out of his mind, honestly. And I would expect him to take it, uh, even though I have predicted against Cam uh, pretty much for like most of the like recent rounds, just because I feel like... His opponents have been conventionally better, so uh, I don't know this match. Uh, they both have outperformed their, my expectations by a pretty significant margin. I feel like Ninja Dog has a little bit more of an advantage, but uh, this one could be... Uh, I think this one will probably go to five games, honestly. Uh, Cam is probably favored in like Mono and uh, some of the lower tiers. I think like OU, I think he's probably a little bit more favored in. But Ninja Dog, of course, LC, he's going to be favored. But I also think uh, he's more... Uh, he's better at some of the other tiers, like um, you, you, like between RU and NU. I think he's a little bit more solid than Cam. Um, it really just depends, though. I think Cam can take this set as well, and it'll probably be a five-game set. Uh, but I'll stay Ninja Dog up a little bit by 
maybe a 5347 set. Now 100% GXE versus Sot Sot. 100% GXE totally on a tear. He has taken out a lot of good players in this tournament, and uh, I expect that this can be his like big tournament. Um, the main problem I have with Sot Sot here is that he ha while he has a ton of really good wins, I still think that his team selection at in some tiers is a little bit... Um, questionable i think 100 gxc has shown to be a pretty competent ubers player so i think he'll take ubers and then it really just depends from there it's really hard to predict these five game sets because a lot of it comes down to luck and uh something some things that go on during the day and how the first game plays out uh you know uh, mental attitudes going into the sets and stuff so um it's really hard to predict because whoever shows up better on the day can definitely win i think both of these sets are really close and i'll go 50 50 on this one i don't really know who's going to win for the second set so I'm just really looking forward to seeing some good games out of these players because, you know, TLT so far has been really good and very little hacks, drama, whatever, the stuff that Tours Room is really infamous for. Um, I feel like uh, this tournament has been really clean and it's been uh, really fun to watch. So I just, I'm just i interested to see who uh, comes out on top in these last four. And pretty much congrats to everyone here because they've done a really good job to get to this point anyway. So... Uh, just looking forward to some uh, great final matches. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my TLT podcast. And uh, I'll have another one up next week for um, top three, I guess. Yeah.